And hello everyone, I am Bogmort. And I know it says keep off Deponia, but that's not the name of the game we're playing. We're actually playing Deponia Doomsday. Doomsday. Anyways, yeah, um, many, 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 well, maybe not that many minis, but years ago, back when I, uh, had someone to play these games with. We played the Deponia trilogy. And it ended on a. I didn't like how it ended. Quite honestly. With Rufus falling to his death and. I didn't get the happy ending I wanted. And I was a little sad about that. I would have liked a happy ending. But then I did learn they came out with a new game. As some people have mentioned to me. And long have I said that I wanted to do it. And, uh, finally, you know what? I'm gonna make it happen. We're gonna do another Doom... Deponi game. Let's do a new game. Da. It should be good. It should be fun! Was never our creation. Oh? It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. I <laughs> a for effort. Don't know if that we crafted quite works. against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie, catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built a spaceship. Yes, space. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. Yay! My home. Elysium. Oh, it's probably it's Tony. None of us ever I think I think there were thousands name? of clueless survivors down in that trash. How bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, Tony and Rufus. One of those clueless people formed um. the plan. <laughs> he saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. Yeah, he felt his death. I know. It sucked. Oh. oh, you don't like this ending? No, I didn't. Still hoping for something more upbeat? Yes. Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Yeah, but I mean, like. I gotta admit. The shark's eating your face. Maybe you could. I keep asking myself. Maybe wishing the shark to not eat your face is, is really calling, uh, tempting anything. Change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? <laughs> Oh, this must be... This feels like in the future. That looks like a ruined Elysium. Now we're talking about endings and all that. A flash forward, it's perhaps? Pure hell. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Where wasn't these days? Yeah, Deponia sucked. I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few locks. The howl in the... Hurry. Makes me think you have not shook them. Yes, we'll play the tutorial. Uh, I'm just step by step. Okay. Okay, mm, that sounds familiar. Yeah? Okay, yeah, 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 right, okay. Get the ladder, sure. Oh, that jump. I right, clicked look. The Edward Snowman was no beauty, but it was all I had left. And there's one action. Character. The Edward Snowman. Alright, cool. So let's move along. <laughs> I don't know what that... I think that's weird future speak. 
pick up the spray can. Whatever that is. I'll take those later. Door knob. Nothing. The Organon had sealed the door to the blast tower. As if to say, if anyone is going to blow this planet to hell, then it's going to be us. What a joke. Fair enough. Graffiti? Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. The Organon, it's wow. as if to say, what a joke. No, I did that. So it's same. Okay. View lock yellow. Definitely not my favorite color. Well, let's take it. It may not be your favorite color, buddy. It may not be your favorite color, but let's take it. Oh, there we go. Combining things. All right. That makes sense. I remember how to do that. So this is, as you can guess, a point-and-click adventure game. Cool. Back to the... No, do, not, do not use the... Huh? Much as I love my homemade flamethrower, it was useless against the bolt. Okay. Do, 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 do. I can double click to move faster. Not the ice blocking the frozen toolbox. Guess that's that, probably? That looks like a frozen toolbox. Oh, I guess I gotta. Jump up, and of course, you know, if I have a thing collected, I can right click. Yeah, makes sense, feels familiar. Take it, and apparently, we now know enough to continue along. That dramatic jump, oh, Ed. that jump. Yeah, I was just say, if the flamethrower won't cut it, perhaps this will. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. There we go. It's like, do I click it? Nope. Oh, man, that looks like a, a not so friendly looking critter. So let's, uh, let's try and hurry up. Easier to cut through the seal than I thought. I see, everything's fine. 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 Pay no mind to the yellow monsters behind us. Um, I don't think you see good luck. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Hey, guys. Ooh. That is, that is more than them than expected. Uh, that was the tutorial. Okay. Hey. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna say if we can't kick it off. Light, lady. Burn, baby. <laughs> oh. And I need to shut the door. Uh, oh, that was cool. Oh, and let's try that again. Go into inventory and just do that. The view punched the icy breath from my chest. You could see everything from up here the destruction, the hopelessness, and the button that would simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Ah, uh, let's take a look. We've got. A bomb. A chill ran down my spine when I saw the bomb. Probably just snow in my hood. We've got an Elysium. Lay in the snow. Broken, burnt out, and shattered. Elysium. Symbol of hope. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. Okay. Button. The bar. I guess we press the button? The door would hold them off. For now. Alright, let's press the button. 
Yeah. Huh. I guess that's it. The end of... <laughs> it's the end of the world as we know it. And wait a minute. My throat. The end wait of the a minute. Me. That voice. That face. Lame. What a lame Armageddon. Climb onto the bomb. Sure, why not? Kick off the clan. Hey, buddy. Kick you in the face. Kick off the clan. Nope. Stop that. Hey. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick you a bunch of times. Ha! Ha! Now we get to fall to our death. Wait a minute. There's the Ponya. There's the Ponya exploding. And there's the Ponya unexploding. The Ponya Doomsday. Ah, <gasps> oh, the singing. Act like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall. I fulfilled already. Let me help you fill the gap in memory. Oh, I like this little singing bit. I wonder face, if we'll have the chorus. We'll gaze true straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the stage, it's evident. No, I want a happy end. Suck it up, princess. No one cares for your tears. It's over and I've no dance to give for seconds. That you're stuck with, looking for I think that's supposed to be like the lead developer or something. Oh, it is the chorus. Oh, this makes me happy. Carry shame as Rufus. Oh, the pony, pony clean adventure. Oh, it'll be interesting. It will be fun and interesting and fun interesting. Snoring. All right. Wake up, Rufus. Wake. Wow, the way you got into that, buddy. Oh, God. All right. Nightmare. I was old. I had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I grew the pony. Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? Ah, luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Yeah, Tony! She's the, the girl in the white suit that we, we helped save last time. Let's see what we got. Oh, can I grab the wrench? Yes, I can. Can I oh, look at the stove? Fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about this in winter. All right. Stove door. Can I light the fire? Bubble wrap. The post office. What was I gonna do with it again? <laughs> Whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. Okay. Uh, outside you go then. So we. The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! He just wants to believe her eyes. Yeah, he just wants to get up with his lady love that he loves. I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. I don't remember the crystal glasses. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out. How stupid of me. Okay. What else and we I got? wanted to take Tony with me too. Junk bag. That stuff is just for looks. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. All right, he's, he raises a good point. Let's take it. True. Yoink. The last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. Uh, rope. No. I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. Okay. Uh, signs? Signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. 
Okay, the pyramid if of glasses. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? These are good questions. Uh, all right, let's let's press the glasses. Time to get to work. No, stop. This seems vaguely familiar somehow. No. Oh. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream. I don't remember that in your dream. I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. I wonder how much of that is actually going to be in the game. Uh, all right. Guess, well, we, we saw the bubble wrap, right? Let's, let's go get the bubble wrap. There it is. Thank you. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> now, one thing you'll learn, oh Rufus, is he's kind of horrible. Oh no! Hey, stop! No! You can't park oh, here. Oh no! You... Oh boy! Somehow my vision missed this. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you. Hello? You can't park here. <laughs> who would do that? Who would even do that? And who the heck are you? Hey, you there. Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh, yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, Since buddy. you're here. <sighs> He looks like a science man, and he has a clock on his... Oh, and he's got a... He's a time traveler. Look at that. He's got a clock on his chest. And he has an hourglass, like, as a like a fishing rod magnet thingamajig. Who are you, anyway? Who are you, anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you. At least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Mm. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. And yet here we are chatting. Understand? No contact. Yeah. There's no con yeah. Or my girlfriend's crystal There's glasses no as well. Only apply to me or to my girlfriend's crystal glasses as well. Oh no. I, I didn't. Uh, did I? Oh yes. While backing into the parking space. Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! You yeah, monster! It usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, yeah that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility. Cool. But it would be very dangerous. That's fine. Yes, you don't mean... Yeah, see eyes in the background there. There's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! <laughs> Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh. I thought you wanted to apologize, but your suggestion sounds better. Yeah, it'll, it'll actually fix things. Uh, uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. No. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> well, then what is the square root of 237,169? the square root of 237,169? 487. But I actually meant oh. another sort of question. Well, One where the solution isn't so obvious. I know. You know, I could do the math to check that, but I'm not going to. If somebody else wants to, uh, please do. Yeah. What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred, but we can make it unoccur 
If we follow my plan... Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... <laughs> turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do like how many things he No! The, the interesting kind of... He suggests that. It reminds me of one of uh, my favorite time travel stories, actually. Which is from a... I believe it's a French animation called Wakfu. Um... And there's a great time travel story in that, which I highly recommend you see. What are you doing there anyway? I'm looking for time anomalies. Well, you found one. I don't want to brag, but I'm almost a singularity myself. My display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time <laughs> split. That's serious. It's like a split end in time. Mm. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. Yeah, you smashed those glasses. You sound like my girlfriend, Tony. Yeah, well, both who are you, anyway? Who are you, anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Ooh. Very possibly. Let's when, ask. Dear Mr. McConaughey. Yes. When? When did I ask you for your life story? <laughs> well, what do you mean? All right, let's go with that. Back time. As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before our reverse park. You invented a time machine and use it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible oh, hands. Oh, God. Rufus is going to get his hands on it. this thing on. I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Oh, <laughs> Oh, you fool. You got near Rufus. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? That, you know who? Mr. Rufus. That sounds smarter than you should huh? be. What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickel. McCronicle. But that means... You remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture. But while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? He's got a time Let's machine. Talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. <laughs> this could turn out to be another one of those days. It, oh, you time travel it. shenanigans. Hit it. All right. Uh, I guess closer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come right? on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What that's is... Come on. come on. Come on. That's a... Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? I think we did just see an elephant. What's going on here? Huh? What? Oh, no, oh, not again. Now we're going to have to travel through time again. But we're going to have to do that traveling through time again uh, next time. So thank you all for watching. Welcome back to Deponia. And uh, let's see if we can... Get a happier ending this time. Bye!